Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Feed the Beast server that I play on my friends. I'm Azuzu, and today we're going to be doing a bunch of updates. Uh, from what I heard, Morgan and Heath are done building their base or close there to it. We've done a bunch of progress up here in the house, and Ted has been doing a lot of work with some of the mob grinder type dealios. So we'll be taking a look at that. But before we do, I was told this morning that our supply in the nether has run dry. So I have... oh jeez. <laughs> There's a spider somewhere out here. Um, I have all of the fixins for getting that fixed. Hello, friend. You've been here for a while, I guess. There you go. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna get out of control quick. I'm just going back in. Little babbies. God. Okay, let's go down and take a look to see what's what's the story. If it is indeed dry, then I'm just gonna have to build out and go from there. It'll most likely be a hellish process to do so. Yeah, that look that looks dry to me. Oh my god. Yeah, let's let's fix this. That's a lot of freaking scary ass noises outside. I don't like it. Kit member, are you? Yes. Are you? No. No. Okay, there we go. And I hear a bunch of buttholes up here. Yeah, I see you being a butthole. Also, we updated to 1.1.7, so we're now at the latest update. <laughs> Lol. Come on, baby. Yeah, screw it. There's now two of them hitting me. Why is it that I suck with arrows sometimes? This is one up there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna build. <laughs> so I'll be back when I have the stuff set up to do the next um, quarry part. Or rather, ender pump. Just now getting over here to build the final parts, which is here, 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 and here. Now I can hook the ender pump back up. And because this place sucks a bunch of donkey balls, we're going to do that so we don't hear any noise of everything happening. So we pop open the hole, plop the ender thermic pump down, which goes there, because that's right above lava. Um, liquid gets pumped out here, which, oh god, <laughs> goes like this. Okay, now we got a magmatic, which goes, well actually let me hook this up first, this, 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 this goes here, this goes here. And I need lava to prime the engine and plop the lever down. Chow. Now I need the uh, lava cells that are at the very beginning of this. <sighs> Got them. Oh Jesus! What the hell? <laughs> Got them. Uh, I think what we need is eight. That should. What the hell? There we go. That should do. Oh, you know what? With the update, it ruined my mouse 5. So now whenever I press mouse 5, it does the escape button. Lovely. I'll have to fix the uh, the Java library pack, or the flip it's called. The coding would fucking fix your mouse 5, you noobs. Java library software.com. Whatever it's called. Okay. Boop. That didn't work. That's not working. Why is... Oh, wait. Did I right click? There we go. So I only need four. There we go. Lava! Oh, it's working! I'm so happy! There, cool. So everything's working fine now. We can go ahead and continue our work. Actually, uh, is this actually filming? Let me go back home and take a look. 
here we go. Let's go take a look. Woo! Three, four, five. Yeah, it's filling. Um, yeah, nice. I heard Ted made a new weapon for me, so let's go take a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he put a chest down here. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. That's a new Jeffrey. Actually, let's do some let's do some field tests. Ted always seems to outdo himself. He's so crazy. I'm very curious. Of course, there's not going to be any monsters out here when we need them. Lovely. When monsters spawn, we'll do some field tests. And we'll probably test some more stuff with... Um, what's it called? Tinker's Construct. Uh, like, for testing out ores, ore stuff, and XP, and auto smelt, and hammers, and... Bing, bang, boom. Okay, I'm gonna wait for nighttime and we'll test out these swords. What the hell? Oh. That's... Oh, wait, that's... Oh. Oh, that's the reed thing. That's pretty cool. Kinda silly, but... Cool. I wonder now, can... <laughs> Ender frequencies. Oh, that's... That's tight. Linking book, notebook. Are these actually labeled with... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I think they all just say descriptive books. Yes. What do these say? Oh, it actually shows the enchants. That's cool. So I made this armor with the... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, get distracted easily. So I made this diamond armor now, which has all of this craziness. Um, with this beautiful enchanting table, which is so good. Uh, I'm going to use these little experience berries to get all of my XP, which is really cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I just remembered I need to put something back in the police station. There we go. Okay, still waiting for nighttime. Let's do this. Oh my god, Alex needs to stop. Whoa, okay. Uh, wait, am I lifting you or not? It's just no. grab me. No, <laughs> you guys are gonna fall in the dirt. Oh uh, yeah, I am. See if we can... Yeah, maybe I can pull you over here. Oh god. Uh, did we break something? No, we're still going up. 240, 250, 260. Uh, uh. Oh my god, your little tiny dots. <laughs> we're still over the water. Just, I, I keep spinning us, so we're still over the water. Oh, that's why we're moving so bad? Oh my god. Oh. Do you want to drop? Oh, we're god. at 350. I'm doing it. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was so cool. Hey, launch me straight up, and then when I start coming down, shoot me back up again. Alright, okay, I'm just gonna launch you. I need to get to a place where I can actually stand. Okay. Did I not grab you? Uh, yeah, you have me. You're not updating on my screen. This is weird. Oh, there okay, we go. There I go. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, ow. Ow. Oh my god, what was that? You hit me. It, I didn't do anything to you. All I heard was it just slam when I came down. Oh, this is the best trampoline ever, dude. Oh god, are you getting any I higher? I can see my house from here. Ah! Oh my god. That's really weird, because I'll land, and it'll act like you, nothing happened, like you missed me. And then you're just sitting there waiting for me. And then I hit you somehow. Woo! Okay. Oh. Oh god, are we, we're holding each other. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Jesus. Oh, I still had you, my bad. Here, I'll, I'll launch. Okay. 
Okay, switch. I have the powerful one. Switch them. Oh. This is gonna end poorly. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I. It's. Uh, it's laggy. I don't understand why it's as laggy as it is. Ooh! Oh no! <laughs> I just love a little small spleef. Oh my god, what? Oh, you were just like in the air for a long time. Alright, cool. Control physics is fucking confirmed. Confirmed works and is freaking great. That is some of the coolest shit. So good. This is my favorite part. There's so much experience, some has gravitated onto me. I can't even see. <laughs> You're just holding down a button and going forward. Oh god, it's impacting my frames for a second. It's like I have cinematic camera on. I was just moving back and forth to like wiggle the XP off of me. <laughs> it's so good. I guess a couple squids will have to test for me. So let's do the original Jeffrey. He does 11 health. Let's do a second one. Yeah, 11 health. New Jeffrey does... Oh, you're not going to be in a good test subject. Except for when you do 14 points of damage? 15 points of damage, damn. That is insane. So Ted has truly outdone himself with this. And I think since it has... <laughs> you can't even read all of it. Since it has Necrotic on there, Lifesteal, Auto Repair, Luck, Sharpness, Looting One, Rideable, and Thalmic. God damn. That is crazy. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to get sorted out for a couple base tours. Okay. Now that all that nonsense is over, time to do a little bit of uh, the base tours like I promised. We'll start here because we're at home. Well, my home anyways. So we've done a lot of progress up in our little home. We readjusted the little cooking area over here. So all of the uncooked ingredients will go into this there. That's not all of them. Looks like this changed. Um, the session of the AE system, we have some fuzzy buses down here, which export everything into these chests. Um, so we have prepared foods and ingredients and the AE system will dump everything into there. We move the portals over to here because on this side we added all of our IC2 machines. So now we have all of this running, going wild. There's a spider somewhere. Oh well. Um, monster's still good. We added this guy in the back over here for modular power suits. We've extended the AE network so we can access it on all floors, which is freaking great. Um, what the? Infinity? Oh, that's strange. These shouldn't be here. We have all of our books right there, like always. Um, let me just slam these in here. Boom. Oopsie. Careful. Damn it. Damn it. Whatever. It's done. It is done. It is not done. Now it is done. Okay. Uh, one other thing that we did was make a frequencies book, which has all of the ender frequencies for all of people's worlds. Um, and an explanation of what each slot means. But yeah, it's all in here. I'll be adding more when we get more information in. There we go. And we have our notebook for extra pages. Essence, uh, the Ages Memorandum, and the uh, linking book. This is an extra linking book that I made because I thought I nuked the Mining Age with an anvil. 
when I threw it across the room, which kind of sucked. Anyways, uh, upstairs, 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 upstairs. I don't think anything really has changed up here other than the addition of the AE terminal. Um, oh, all of the nuggets, ingots, raw aluminum, and blocks come up into this chest now. Um, and coal. Needs more coal. Throw some more coal into there. There we go. That's cooking away. And I think this is set to export. Yeah, export coal coke. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, the basement. The basement's been adjusted as well. We ended up putting the pillar back in and moving all of our AE system back here. We're not sure why it turned purple. Copes is going to be looking a bit at that when he comes back from vacation. Um, and then we have template assemblers down here, so we don't have to worry about making the dumb stuff like copper cable, uh, circuits, pistons, etc. Um, with our AE system, because it does tend to get clogged up with items, we moved all of our random junk items like vanilla tools, uh, armor, swords, tons of force mitts, and miscellaneous tools into those. Uh, that's pretty much it for there. Um, added a couple more laundromats since we upgraded. We can't hear sounds for that, which sucks. This is pretty much the same. Oh, we did add a advanced crafting table, which we need to start taking a look at because it's pretty cool. And if it's safe in here, looks safe. Let's uh, let's be careful. Ooh. You can die. We added a bunch of the nether berries and a bunch of the other extra other berry bushes and stuff like that. Um, I always forget what all these berry types are, but we'll find out when they grow. And then the tank room is looking good down here as well. We're going to be expanding it here in a couple days. We have our water, lava, creosote, here's honey, and oh, I actually have a surplus of honey, which is good. And this is liquid DNA, which is slowly filling. I'll put seed oil here and monster essence there. Um, and the monster essence is actually being put to a good use over in Ted's area, which we'll go take a look at next. Okay, from the outside of the house, if we head back here, Ted ended up moving his area, but I'll show you the original spot for it. Um, I'm slowly building a haunted house, which is right back there for him, but his area was down here in Deep Place Mine near a monster spawner. Um, we just have to go down here. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. I think he had an accident. Can I kill these guys without much trouble? Ooh. Good thing with my health, I have full an extra ten hearts. Is he just... Ooh! Okay, he's dead. Oh, my God. Soups! Hey, buddy. You're trapped. Minotaur axe. Nice. I'm just gonna kill all this junk. Uh, spider. There's another squirrely squirrel right there. Anyways, you can tell Ted was here. Oh. <laughs> the shit. What is going on? You can die. Oh god, screw it. I ain't killing that squirrel. I'm just gonna kill the baddies that are actually bad. Um, his old place was back here where I found the portal gun. What? Thonkrat? What? He's expanded back here. Jesus. Oh, it's his new area. Lol. Anyways, if we would have continued... <laughs> uh, he's gonna go have lunch with his girlfriend. But um, if we would have followed the path that looped around this way and then gone back here, I think. Get out of here. His old place was right back here. I had no idea it was so freaking close to it. What? Is that another villager? Hey, buddy. What's up? Proven grafted. That's not bad. Get me out of here. But anyways, I will... He just, what sucks is he just logged off. I was going to have him give us a grandiose tour. But his basement's going to be down here eventually. And uh, 
it's essentially set up with a ton of monster spawners in there, and he's using, um, I forgot what mod this is, I think it's part of AE or factorization or something, I can't remember. But um, he's got safari nets which capture creatures that spawn creatures, and he has his monster spawners in there to um, kill creatures and then extract their liquid essence. Um, he's got a pretty good setup, and once we get the haunted house all hooked up, he'll be good to go. Um, so that's Ted's area. Who are you? Oh, you're a Mistcraft villager. You're a Thongcraft villager. Glowstone, really? That's it? You're Thongcraft. You're standard? Huh. Yeah, it's a standard villager. You're a standard villager. What's the white lab coat? With purple lining. Oh, it's his. Okay. I, I play along. What's blue coat? Oh, that's the Tinker's Construct. Look at all these jokers. <laughs> Redstone. Okay, so this is Ted's area in a nutshell. Um, if we go up this little ghetto staircase, because it's temporary right now. Oh my god, this is insane. But if we go all the way up... Hey, Thumbcraft Villager. Oh no, Ice Block. That's a lot of emeralds, no. He's working on it, slowly. And I'm working on my area, or the haunted house, rather. What was the sign say? <laughs> Lol. Uh, so yeah, it'll come out the front door over here. But we'll, we'll we'll make it look good. We'll make it look good. And when it's actually built, it'll be nice. I'll probably do that next episode. That'll probably be the prim uh, primary thing I do tomorrow, along with some of the other extra junk that has to get done. Um, this is always a dangerous situation on the road. There we go. Uh, so next we'll go over and take a look at Morgan's place. Once I... actually, while I'm here, I'm going to right-click on... Dang it, it needs to be very precise. There we go. Let's put Meef Stews in here. Doo -doo -doo. Oopsie. So now if I go into the AE system... Meef... Okay, cool. Meef Stroganoff. Stroganoff. And then these will go downstairs. Oh yeah, this and this. So now if I put it into any AE system, which I'll probably be crafting at, it'll dump them directly into there, which is pretty freaking nice. And then downstairs I'll put these stupid minotaur axes. But I'll repair them first. Can't you do something crazy with these things? I can't remember. Oh well. Um, put this over here. Alright, off to Morgan's, which is up here. Morgan is almost finished, or finished, with the outer construction of Voss Prime, which is through this yellow portal. He made his stuff over in the lava area, we've seen it a couple times, but he's come a long way. Not bad. I like his little area. It's very ornate, very grandiose. This is Heat's area, or actually I can take you on a tour of the wings. So this wing is going to be the machine, uh, machine room and storage room. Or storage wing, machine wing, and storage wing. This is going to be Heath's uh, technology lab. Over here is going to be the trophy room, which he's already started putting stuff in. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, damn it, Tinker's Construct, you ruin everything. And what's that? Zombie head? Are these all zombies' heads? Yes, they are. Weird. That's an odd texture bug. And then over here is Morgan's wing, where he's going to do uh, magic. Oh, and they uh, put a beacon in, too. We'll go up to the beacon and take a look. Um, and then this is what we spent a deal of time with. Um, it was a collaborative effort. I did all the vanilla redstone down below, and then Heath made a cool little computer craft thing, which turns them on and off. And then up here is balconies. I'm not sure what uh, Morgan and Heath are going to put up here, but they'll figure it out. And then if we go... Where is it at? You can see the beacon through here. Through his smoky glass, which is tight. I think his beacon is on iron right now. Let's take a look. Yeah, iron. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oops. Make sure I don't get attacked while I charge. Oh, yeah, that. So I can't get up to it right now because I don't have any way of flying, but he's got giant um, solar pods up there, which create uh, a butt ton of energy. Um, if Morgan was on, he'd be able to do a little bit more explanation, but it essentially solves uh, the high-end energy issues that we would have needed to 
uh, quantum link uh, stuff and just have an excess of power. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, and then there was one other thing that um, Copes made, or not Copes, but uh, oh yeah, that's a cool little thing over there. I'll show you that off in my B area. Morgan grabbed the idea for my B lab. Um, and then we have Heath's UU hut, which I don't understand why he needed UU so quickly and so badly, but he's got UU. Oh, that's not, that's weird. Oh, he's got an iron pipe. Okay, so it works. Um, what? Is someone trying to say something? That should make iridium. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was a hint. I will put that back there. <laughs> that was very bizarre. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Now, out into here is the power room for uh, Morgan Heath's area. Pretty much using the same setup that we have over in our base. Um, yeah, they built this directly underneath their um, elevator, which is up here. If anyone was wondering what the redstone looked like for this, if you dig in here, actually it's probably an easier way to dig in here, but whatever. Oh, it looks like Co or, um, Heath put a uh, wireless transmitter probably going up there or something. Let's dig in the back. <laughs> It'll probably be easier. Oh, dang it. Boom and boom. So the redstone looks like this. So it's basically redstone torches and then repeaters directing into the the boys right up here. And then if you go down here, which I can't, there we go. It essentially wraps around and hits this one right here. The redstone did, that is. Probably not the best way to set it up, but it works. Um, now if I can just manage to get out of here. The speed boost thing is very strange. So that's Morgan's area. The next area that we will take a look at is the changes to my B lab, which is through this portal. Ta-da! Added a spiral staircase, which goes down into what will be my future power room. I don't know why I went all the way around. And storage room. So we got all my B stuff there. We have an automated section here. This tunnel goes all the way out into the tree breeding area where I've set up automation for auto, uh, cycling the drones and the princesses. Uh, machine room's looking good. We have a squeezer here for all of the honey and this should be done. Okay, cool it is. Let's take all this stuff out. Put the honey in here. This is why I have a surplus of honey. It's been running for a couple days now that I've set it up. And we'll put the wax into there. Geez, in like a month, when I get more of those, I'll need to put uh, an extra dimensional storage. Um, this is now getting set up for tree breeding, which that those trees should be right for the picking. Um, the bee lab's looking good. Uh, it's pretty much the same way that I left last time, except um, the tanks have been put in. And I've been working on getting cultivated and common princesses uh, and drones, but I need to get the straight cultivated, oh my god, straight cultivated common combination right now, which I will eventually be able to do. And then in the backyard, it's looking like a unicorn throw up again. Got all of our bees cycling through. Very scared to look to see what the generation is because these have been going 24-7. Uh, since I've installed them. Oh geez, what? Oh, cactus. <laughs> so that's the bee area. It's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, that room. I actually started laying down the... Oh yeah, before I actually go there. This is what is down below. Very simple redstone, once again. And then the blocks that these redstone things are, are the drawbridge. Oh, look at that. You can change the direction that you want it to go. That's tight. I like that. That's that's new with the update. But yeah, there's the tunnel that goes all the way out to the bees. And uh, when someone hits either side, it opens up the drawbridge. So I got the pressure plates there. 
Yeah, this actually is a little bit faster now. I likey. Okay, anyways. We wrap around over here. And the floor is partially laid in here. Still need to figure out a long-term solution for it all. And of course, go all the way down to bedrock for all of my bees. And that's pretty much all there was to show off for updates for people's areas. Oops. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. That was pretty much all there was to show off. So, yeah. Everything is looking good. And it started to rain. So, I think that's pretty much where we're going to wrap up today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will continue on with this series. Um, what? What? That was weird. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will, we will continue on with the series, and I will see you all later. Take care.